All right, guys, it's uh, Christmas time here in Bubbleville. And uh, we're making some candles to give away as gifts. Picked up some scent, fragrance oil, and a local dollar box. A couple different scents here. And uh, what we do is we just got a double boiler there. Melt our wax down in one mason jar. Over here you see we have another mason jar that's already melted down. I've already added oil to it. Um, we're just letting it come down. You want to let it come down. I, I do it by hand. I, I don't use the thermometer. I let it come down until I can just barely handle it. And then I pour it. If you pour it when it's too hot you'll get real bad holes and dips in it um, here's a slight one that one's got a little dip in it but uh... break up your block of wax try not to make a mess make sure you keep the towel down underneath where you're pouring because Melted wax sucks to clean up. I got these nice wooden wicks off of eBay. They crackle. Yes. Got 20 pound block of paraffin wax off eBay. You can use paraffin or soybean. Um, paraffin was cheaper. And I'm cheap. So, that's what we went with. But, uh, you just get your wax melting down here. I've been making candles pretty much all morning. I do my heat on medium. You want to make sure the water doesn't boil. You don't want to get the wax too hot. And you want to let the wax cool a little bit before you add the oil in it. Um, once I take it off, I let the wax cool down. You know, I don't know, five minutes or so. And then I add the oil. Stir it up. All right. All right, guys. All right, so we're making candles in the kitchen here. I want to come out and talk to you a little bit about the wicks. Um, I picked up the wicks and the wax on eBay. Uh, I bought 20 pounds of paraffin wax, and it cost me around 60 bucks. And I bought 50 of these wooden wicks, and it cost me somewhere around, I think, around 20 bucks for 50 of the wicks. But I've got mason jars laying around all the time. Um, and it makes it great. It's coming up on Christmas time here. So we're making these candles um, The wicks I like the wooden wicks. I also brought The cotton twine but the wooden wicks are so much more they crackle as it burns and it really it makes it so much nicer of a candle than just the regular cotton ones if you're doing the cotton ones, it's not hard to do um, I'll explain that but first let's talk about these wooden ones the wooden ones I normally I buy these half inch by five and if you're doing I normally put them in uh, big mouth mason jars uh, I like these mason jars here all useful within those but if you're getting something small like this you don't want quite such a wide flame so what you'll do is just take a pair of scissors they sell smaller sizes but just trim it down it's no big deal probably just tear it maybe yeah you can well, liar. Alright. So, there you go. So, now you got a wooden wick. And they come with these little holders. It just slides into. If you can see that there. Bam. And that will hold your wick. Then, once you pour the wax and it's in the container, you just drop it in there and it holds it. Now, so you're doing the cotton twine style you would get you say a nut or something like that they make tabs uh, specifically for it but I think it's cheaper probably just to buy a heavy nut at the hardware store or dig one up you got laying around 
and then you put your twine, you tie it through the nut, you drop it down, and you just would wrap the the wick around the top and lay it across the top of your container like that, holding the wick wrapped around it to keep it from falling in while the wax sets. Um, since when I first did it, I bought that off of eBay, great company, but that was really expensive. Um, I want to say it was like seven or eight bucks for that. I found at one of the local dollar stores near me, they sell fragrance oils for like a dollar fifty a little jar. I got baby powder. I have vanilla in there, uh, patchouli because I'm a dirty hippie. And anyhow, we make the candles and uh, they make great gifts. I like the ones, I don't know if you can see the, the actual mason emblem on there. Um, you could add food coloring or melt down crayons to dye the wax. Um, melt down the crayons with the wax and mix them up. But I like the plain white candles at Christmas. All right. Well, the wax is cooled down in this jar enough that I can handle it. And when you take it out, make sure you use your canning tongs because that joker will be hot when you take it out of there. And don't worry about the water not being all the way up on it. It'll heat the wax on the bottom and circumvention will cause it to circulate enough to melt the whole thing. Alright, so like I said, this has already had scent added to it. Use your... I have one just for this. These funnels are cheap enough. The, the canning funnels. Use one just for making candles. All right. I got this cup at the Goodwill. For 59 cents I think. I bought it just for this purpose. Make it, make it. Pine. Smells like pine salt, but I like it. Pine fresh. All right, and I just eyeball it. I don't measure it. You see, as it hits, it melts it, or it cools it and condenses it. So you have to make sure you stir that joker up. Um, will you get me a new bamboo skewer? This one's dirty. Grazie, grazie. You want to do this while the wax is still hot enough to go ahead and melt it back down. If it's not, you'll have to put it back on the double boiler for just a minute. And swing the double boiler. I need to add a little bit more to my syrup. Make sure you add hot water. You add cold water to it, you'll crack your jar. That would be bad. Okay. Anyhow. Get over here and get that stirred in there real nice. Uh oh. I just heard something pop. It's still all right. No, it doesn't happen. What it is is the way that it actually gets little bubbles of steam up under it. 
riding on a cushion out here like a Lincoln Cadillac. Trying to stab me. Not on Spousal purpose. abuse. Not on purpose. It's my story and I'm sticking to it. Alright. So, we're going to put this 5 inch winch in this uh, mason jar, which is obviously taller than that. So, I put the whip next to it so I don't over pour. Now, we got to let this wax cool until I can just barely handle it by hand. Same thing with this wax. I would add vanilla to that, because there's hardly any. It would give it a nice. It already. The other wax that I added to that is already scented. I to understand the art. that. But there's just. You know, it's not enough to do a whole lot with. If you add too much oil to it, I know it won't. Uh, it doesn't burn right, it separates. Yeah. You gotta walk the line. You picked a fine line to add too much oil. <laughs> I didn't think it could hurt just a little. You're saying it's got the scent from the watch you scraped out of that? There was already. This much wax that was already scented and already made a set of candles that I couldn't fill into a jar. And then I scraped out maybe a tablespoon of red wax and added to it. So it's already scented. Mm -hmm. To the moon, Alice! <laughs> Stop. Mm. Oh, you're going to harass me. You're going on video. <laughs> I want them to see my protagonist or antagonist no. or Come on. whatever. Stop. All right, we'll be back after she stabs me in the eyeball with a bamboo skewer. All right, so every once in a while you got to come back and just go ahead and give it a stir. Just keep everything thoroughly mixed. And uh, you see it's actually starting to turn just slightly opaque. That's good. It's getting close to where we're going to pour it. All right, guys, I'm not perfect. As you can see, we got three of them here that uh, looks like I poured them when they were a little too hot. And I think that's what causes these cavities because then it cools rapidly and uh, draws away. So what I'm going to try and do, and I don't know if it'll work, is once it cools a little bit more, and I'm going to let that get to where it just, it's starting to really thicken up. I'm going to let that, I'm going to add that red or pinkish where I cleaned out this little jar into it and it might add a little bit of different color it's going to add a little bit different scent and hopefully it will save these make them look more presentable but we never know at least we could try all right we'll see what happens